All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. We are with Bekruz in Tashkent, Uzbekistan. Just got in, and today Bekruz is bringing us for a full-on food adventure. Yeah, we're gonna have so much fun, man. We lined up a really cool item today. We're gonna have so much incredible, extreme, the biggest, spiciest, craziest food. Best Uzbeki food. Absolutely, everything for you, bro. Let's check it out. This is it, Uzbekistan, home to some of the most unique food in the whole world. And today, with our local buddy Beck Cruz, Instagram in the description below, we're going in deep for six insanely delicious meals. Starting out at a super local market and having some horse meat noodles, local lasagna, before moving on for five more meals, like Uyghur style lagman noodles, trying the best fried chicken in the entire country, visiting a local family restaurant to try manti and kebabs, getting a lesson on how to make green lagman, and finishing up with a luxury Uzbekistan meal with beautiful local dance. Let's eat. We're in the local market now. Yeah, man. Local food bazaar. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum Wow. So what do we have here? So this is kind of lasagna. Oh, and then what about this here? What's this? Oh, that's the that's a unique dish called noran. Basically, it's uh, noodles with the horse meat. Oh, and this is the horse meat here. Look at this. Going right on the noodle, the cold noodle. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. And then we could try this lasagna. Yeah. They're like dumplings almost. Rahmat. Okay. So we got the horse meat noodle and the Uzbeki lasagna. Lasagna, yeah. Wow. This is a horse. Yeah. It's a sausage stuff. It's intestine stuff with the rice and the organs. It looks so fatty. So it's rice and intestine. Wow. So, so. And what's she covering it with here? Onion, man. Onion. Again. Ragmat. So we got the sausage. Hasab. So it's a organ uh, and the rice stuffed in the intestine of the animal. It's a noodle with the horse meat, it's called Noran. It is very specific for Tashkent. Wow. They cook it only in Tashkent. For the world noodle tour. Yeah, man. And here, this the name of this dish is a honam. Honam, let's go for the sausage. Okay, let's do this. Sheep intestines stuffed with rice and organs. Yeah. And peppery goodness. It's fatty. Let's go for it. Mm. Oh, oh, it's heavy. Dense. Just like chewing on fat. And then these horse meat noodles. Yeah. Horse meat is a specialty in Uzbekistan. There it is. First horse meat noodles ever. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh wow. Oh that's nice too isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. And you can see the little potato slivers in there. Oh and you can smell the tomato. Let's go for Let's it. Go. Mm. Oh yeah. It's heartwarming. Yeah. Wow. What a mixture of flavors there. I love the noodles the most. The cold, yeah. chewy horse they noodles. They usually serve cold with a hot uh, soup, but people tend to eat it like a cold mm. finger food. Horse noodle bros today. Yeah, man. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers. Cheers. And this is the local Bread Street. Yeah, Bread Street. It's like closed bread market. You can find a very different type of bread and sweets. Oh. It's all made in tandoor, and tandoor is around the corner. Oh, going into the tandoor yeah. area. Look, there's like around 20 tandoors. Wow. People are baking really different types of bread. Look. Here's a brush, I think some sort of cream. Then here's sesame. Sesame. See, yeah, sesame seed. It puts on the top. Oh, yeah, sesame. And it just gets slapped in. And then he smacks it in. Boom. This smells so delicious. And here we go, right off the wall. Look at that. Boom. It's just like scooping. It's like fishing. Look at those. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at those. It's very wow. hot. You can. Oh, it's right out of the oven. It's hot. And you can just eat it. What's the way? We Split break it like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uzbeki bread. What's the name of this? None. None. Just none? Yeah, we call it none. Pure none. Yeah. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh, it's just pure bread. Crunch is crazy. Crunch, almost gooey on the inside. Yeah. Rahmat. Rahmat. Bye bye. And we are just continuing on. Bekruz is bringing us for more food. Next up, we're going for lakman. Yeah, man. Lakman. lakman. Yeah. Classic Uzbeki noodle dish. This is my one of my favorite restaurants. Uh, one of the highlights here is the lakman. Wow. 
Oh, and here we are. We're going in to see the Lagman classic Uzbeki noodle. Can we get the chef coats? Yeah, you're going to be chef for today. Okay. Okay. Professor Lagman. Professor Lagman. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. This is it here. Yeah. Hand pulled noodle. Wow. This is amazing to see. He's pulling out these individual noodle strips. So oh, and here comes the pole. Yeah. Oh, wow. He's saying that so he's doing it Uyghur style. Uyghur so. style. Uyghur style, yeah. He's aligning them all up. And they're going to go in the pot that way. Oh, nice noodle slap. Wow. And then they go right in the pot. Boom. Beautiful. Look at those. And this is an iconic dish of the Silk Road. The Lagman that I've been really looking forward to trying. Oh, yeah. Right out of the pot. Wow, and then right on the table here. Oh, and here we go. We're starting the fried noodle. Oh, there we go. And here's the secret. Tomato. Chili. Boom. Oh, and here's the noodles. Lagman noodle. Al dante. Wow. And there they are. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's it, the Uzbeki fried lakman. Oh. Right out of the pot. It's fresh. Oh, fried eggs. Fried egg. Some green onion. Green onions. Wow. Ooh. Looks amazing. And next up is the boiled lakman. Yeah, like sai. With the sai. Sai lakman, yeah. So this is the lakman sauce he's making, right? Yes, yes. Boom. Beef in wok. And you can see there's going to be a lot of ingredients that go into this wok. Here we go. Oh, if you don't watch it, you might miss it. It's fast. <laughs> yeah, he's quick. Oh, Lockman sauce. And there it is. We've got the wok just on high heat right now. And he is adding in so many nice vegetables over high heat. Look at that. Oh, tomato sauce going in. Boom. Tomato, bell pepper, cabbage, high heat. Mazali. Yeah. That is beautiful. And there it is, the final lagman. Wow. It smells fantastic. It's sizzling. <laughs> you can hear the sizzle. Rahmat. Rahmat, okay. Rahmat. Rahmat. So here is like a fried, like Tashkent fried noodles. Here we have like a sai, which is more of like Uyghur style. More Uyghur style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the Uzbeki style. Tashkent style. And I love how they boil them in that massive cauldron. And they're a short noodle. Let's go for Let's it. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so smoky. Wow. And really nice and chewy. Al dente, smoky, a little bit spicy. Mmm. This is it. I'm, I've been looking forward to this day for years. Tasting Uzbeki Lagman. Lagman. Cheers, Central man. Asian noodle. Mm. Oh, that is what it's all about right there. The sauce gives it the soul and the noodles give it the texture. Wow, you can just drink it. It's so flavorful. Yeah. Amazing. And you have to come to Uzbekistan, Central Asia, yeah. to try these dishes. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Mazali. Mazali. Thank you. And here we are. Here we are, my man. Downtown. TFC. TFC. TFC, Tashkent Fried Chicken. This place is very remarkable. They've been frying chicken for last 40 years. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Yeah, look at this. Like people are hanging out. The local like... chicken joint. Yeah. Yeah. Assalamualaikum. So he's the manager here. Nice so he here. was gracious enough to let us Thank in you. to see how Thank the you. secret is going on. And we're going into the chicken hot spot. We're the chicken doctors. Chicken doctors. <laughs> the chicken hospital. The chicken doctors coming up. Oh. oh look at this. Look at this. So the sizzling. chicken station. So basically he's saying there is no secret ingredient. They just put salt in it. It's just the chicken they source local and very fresh. Oh. Yeah. And what they add is just they add the salt here. Just you a can see salt. the big uh, like chunks of the sea salt. Yeah. Then uh, they're saying they have a cream because it gives a good vibrant color. Oh, oh look at this color. Wow. wow. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Crispy. The reddish, crispy. Madali. Look at that <laughs> chicken. It's a chicken jacuzzi. You can see. They're just getting grilled 
and they're so crispy looking. Wow, and there it is. Look at all that chicken. Yeah, watch out. Oh. And it goes right in the pot. Look at that. So they have a sauce. Basic of that sauce is the chicken oil itself and the water and some herbs, local herbs. So what they do is they fry it and they boil it so it becomes really, you know, juicy. Really juicy. Yeah. And there it is. There it is, my man. It's full. Yeah. Once and you close it, Boom. Close. And yeah, we're just it's laying it's them down more over here. Yeah, yeah, it's a constant process, my man. It's going infinite chicken loop. And there it is, look at that. Oh, it's so buttery. That's one you of the chicken of the, the world right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, man. Pure butter, natural farm-raised chicken. Uh, one of the chicken doctors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Thank you. Doctor awesome. Oh, and then this is where it all starts. He's now it's making gonna... sure to get the hottest one. The hottest Boom. one. Boom. Easy. Boom. Look at that. One. Oh, and then that's it there. So one plate, one serving. So this is their secret tomato juice. Yeah, secret tomato sauce, and probably people like the tomato sauce more than chicken. Oh, and this is the bread station. Yeah, look at him, how professional. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Oh, he's just, each one is a slice. Yeah, yeah, he's slicing it up. And then these are the final product here. The final product, almost ready to be served to hungry people. <laughs> like that. We're gonna go try it out. Yeah, probably, yeah. Ooh. Wow. 375 grams. 375? Yeah. 375. Oh, thank you. It's 500 grams. 500 grams. Oh, it's a bigger one. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. That looks incredible. So we got four big chickens, crispy side up. You can smell the butter saturated coming out of the skin. Okay. Let's do it, right? Oh, and there it is. Oh, look at the skin. And it's just pure butter fried chicken. Let's try it out. We're good? Oh. Mmm. Oh wow. Mmm. Wow. It is so juicy with butter. You it's can, perfectly plump, juicy. You can feel the butter. Butter fried chicken with a little herbal, salty broth goodness. Yeah. Mmm. You gotta try this, man. And then you wash it down? Yeah. With this tomato. Cheese, brother. Good. Mmm. Nice. Wow. Refreshing. That's like a, a salsa. You can just dip your chicken in. Mmm. With it. Oh. Yeah? Juicy chicken. It's the best duo. Mazali. Mazali. <laughs> Thank you. And we're gonna keep going. Yeah, man. What a lunch. <laughs> keep going. Wow. Right on the street. And you can already feel that classic Uzbeki culture. It's so just... We're going for a, a local kebab joint to yeah, start. Yeah, it's a local kebab joint known for ages. That guy makes that kebab for a very long time. Wow. He's the owner. He's been doing it for like ages. Nice to meet you. Yeah. And he has like franchise. He had a bigger restaurant. Oh. But this is his home. He never wants this to leave the, it. So he wants to do it. Yeah. So this is a liver kebab. This is mincemeat kebab. As you see, liver and a sheep fat. So wow. He makes around 500 a day. And here it is. The lamb, liver, and minced beef kebab. Oh. And he's just putting some salt right on there. It's the shashlik. Shashlik. That looks juicy. Should be good. Yeah, yeah, man. Look how delicious that. Oh, and here they are. Kebabs are ready. Go. And they're ready. Oh, wow. Uzbeki kebab. Uzbeki yeah. kebab. kebab. <laughs> Look, that's sizzling. Thank you. Just right on time. Oh, chichwara. he's serving chichwara. chichwara. Yeah. Uzbeki chichwara. Oh, look at this. Minced lamb dumplings. It's gonna be my first taste of Uzbeki chichwara. And they're putting the yeah. the bone marrow mm. soup. Bone marrow soup on top. On the dumpling. That is one of the dumplings of the world right there. <laughs> oh, and you can smell this dill. That is a beautiful smell. Uh, oh, the, the bone marrow soup. Mm. Oh, and then Definitely. a little dill. Yeah, dill goes everywhere. Dill on the soup. And he has some pickled, Pick, uh, pickled chili. chili. Chili, yeah. Oh, and this is the bone marrow. Yes. Oh, wow, look at that. So we got big lamb shanks and the bone marrow soup. Salam. Yes. Salam. <laughs> oh. It's <laughs> Uzbeki shurpa. Yeah. Uzbeki shurpa. Nice. Wow. Yes. So we got the shishlik. We got the bread, yes. we got the chichwara, yes. pickled cabbage, yeah. lamb shank. Yeah. You're saying this is onions? Onion, with... yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an onion with the vinegar. With the vinegar, yeah. the lamb marrow soup. Let's go right in. This is what I really want to try, the chichwara. Yeah. And look at those, chichwara with dill. <laughs> Let's try them out. Mmm. Mm. Oh, wow. 
Oh, that is delicious. That is a complex, deep lamb flavor with the dill and the sour cream. Wow. What would you recommend for the first kebab? Bro, let's start with the liver. The liver? Yeah. Full on. Let's Good. do it. Let's do it, man. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I love how it goes liver and then fat, liver and then fat. So you've got lean and then juicy. For bone. the great adventure. <laughs> the bone marrow soup. Bone marrow soup, bro. Mmm. 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 Oh wow. And then you go for the pickled chili. You gotta go. Take it down. Ooh. Ooh. It's hot, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. So as you can see, different layers, it's a lamb shank. So oh, and next up we can take the bone marrow out, right? So easily, because it was boiling for like hours. And I think we have a marrow here. I prefer to pound it. Oh! Oh, you got it. Yeah, man. Oh, get it. and I got or one too. You got it too, yeah. Oh, there I it is. I think from here we can just... Uh, just slurp, slurp it. it out. Yeah. The bone marrow bros. Mmm. Mm. Mazali. <laughs> Like Matt. Bye bye. Bye bye. Like, yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna keep going. Ah, uh, beautiful. Good. It's been a wonderful day. Oh yeah, tell me about it. And, and we're gonna tonight, wrap it up. Wrap it up with amazing Uzbek Lagman green. Lagman. You're gonna love it. Noodles. And a bunch of other goodies. In a yurt. In a yurt camp. Yep. Assalamu alaikum. So can we ask some slok yeah? So let's ask some Assalamu alaikum. And this is it, the yurt section. But yeah. we are going into the kitchen. And here we are. Here we are. Oh. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wow. Like man. They add the dill oh. and that's what makes it that color so vibrant. Dill in the dough. So it's a Uzbeki noodle dish and it's uh, covered in a, what's the sauce? It's a gravy, comes with the beef, potato and the carrot. I've been looking forward to trying real Uzbeki lakman for a long time now. Oh, she's rolling it. Yeah, she's rolling it in a way. So I think she can make really nice slices. Oh, this is incredible. There they yeah. are. Yeah. So she's now string, oh, uh, yeah. straightening them up. Yeah. Oh, wow. And look at the texture. They look like they've got good texture. And it and goes right through in. water. Yeah. This is unique. Dill Lakman. And now we can see really the green oh, color. Oh, yeah. Isn't dark it, green. Huh? Wow. This is so cool. We're getting a homemade pasta sauce. Green. Lagman pasta sauce here in Tashkent. We've got beef, pepper, onion, dill. It's all gonna be made right after our order. So it's super fresh. And here's the noodles. Look at those. Look at the color there. This dish is like, you know, the hundred years old. And oh, it's and very, very are. ancient. Look at the steam there. Wow. Mazali, oh. Mazali. Mazali. Wow, we just put that beef down for the sauce. And Mazali, looks very good. Onions and beef are in. Rahmat. 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 <laughs> They're so friendly. Wow, and those green noodles just look delicious. This is gonna be good. Oh, wow. And look at that, it's coming together right now. The peppers and the onions and the beef. Wow, it looks good. <laughs> and there they are. Yeah. The green Rahmat. It's very delicious. Looks very Rahmat. delicious. Wow. Oh, look at and that. And there it is. Look at the sauce. Ooh. Oh, the oh, aroma is crazy. The aroma. Oh, you can feel all the, like, Ooh. yeah, they, they gotta put some herbs the onion, in it. Onion, the yeah. herbs. And we've got the ravioli station here. And this is the guma. Uh, guma. Guma. <laughs> wow, look at that. Dough sheets and then minced lamb right down. It's a lamb patty. And then she's hand pinching them. So we've got these giant ravioli filled with lamb and going under the pan. And they're first just browning the bottom here. And then they're gonna go in this oil. Look at that. Look at this, guys. We've got the gulma. Like, like an Uzbeki samosa. And they're pan fried. And then one in the oil as well. Baby's ready, man. Oh, and here it is. Look at that. That's the black man. Ooh, Ooh. Nice. All over the green dill. Nice. Noodles. The maza, the maza. The maza. The maza. And there it is. Oh, look at that. The green like man. Look at the color there. Oh, can't wait to try it. You can man. smell the dill. Yeah. This is a magic Good. kitchen. Rakhmat. 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 Oh, and these are our yurts. We're going to have a fish right out of this little pond and keep warm in this little yurt here. Oh, welcome, here we my are. man. Yes. Here we are. Yes. We're good. Oh. Oh, nice. And here they are. Oh. Nice. Rahmat. 
Like Mac Mac. Yeah, I think wow. our table is full. It's full. Well, look at so this. much options. Look at it. We, we got the Lakman. Lakman. We got the Gulma. Gulma. Gulma with lamb and pumpkin. Pumpkin and we got the egg ravioli. Egg ravioli. So it's just egg inside. Just an egg. Really? Nothing else, yeah. And then fried carpet. Amudaria River. And then the winner. And the winner is our lagman, our the green, green lagman. lagman with dill, yes. which you can smell. And then one thing that I'm really loving is this orange and orange-looking naan. Yeah, they, they just put paprika in it, so it gives a flavor as well as well as a color. And there it is, the green lagman. Oh, and it's a homemade tomato sauce. Yeah, and this is for the world noodle tour. We came to try authentic Uzbeki lagman. Let's try it out. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, the dill. That is insanely delicious. The dill is much stronger than I thought, and it's so enjoyable. With the lamb fat, the tomato, the onion, seasoned well. Just wow, so the... colorful. And do yeah. you just take it? Yeah, take one. And bro. then dip it in the yogurt here? Yeah, you can dip it in the yogurt. You can eat it like that. Oh, wow. Uzbeki cuisine. I'll eat like that. Okay. You good? Mmm. Mmm. Wow, it's like there's a scrambled egg inside, inside yeah. of a ravioli. Mmm. With a little sour yogurt. Wow. And then we've got these gulma. We call it gulma. And those ones we eat with a bare hand, bro. You can just take it. Yeah, take take one. Wow. And I'll take another one. Oh, and you can see it's orange on the inside. I think this one would be with the uh, pumpkin. With the pumpkin. Yeah. And you can just yeah, take it like yeah. that? Take it like that, exactly. And I think it's with the green. I want to go with the one with the meat. Oh, with the meat. I believe it's a meat. Let's Cheers, bro. Mmm. Mm. Oh, wow. That is delicious. And we are not exaggerating. It's really delicious. It is really delicious. And we've tried most of the dishes now, but yeah. this Lakman is the star. Yeah. This is the intermediary noodle dish of Central Asia as noodles traveled across the continents from China to Italy. We've got the Lak Man. And these here are upgraded with dill. Yeah. It's incredible to come here to the source to try them and feel and taste the flavor. And to finish up the night, Becker's brought us to a really nice local restaurant to have even more classic Uzbeki food with traditional dancing. Wow, and what a meal! <laughs> Look at this! Uzbekistan! That's its best! Wow! Gotta give a big thanks to Bet Cruz for My having pleasure. us here in Tashkent. Wonderful day! Beautiful! It was amazing! amazing. Food. Yeah. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we say we are as good as our guests are. So our hospitality only reflects to the level of the friendship and level of receiving from the other wow. end. So you made this night even more special. Thank you. So thank you very much. Thank man. you. Awesome.